what's going on everybody january flowers here your favorite home girl and if you're new to my channel like share and subscribe i discuss everything baddies and i also do show reviews and things like that now if you are familiar with my channel hey boo you knew i was going to cover all the baddie west auditions and i did and let me just tell y'all it went down at those auditions i have confirmed fights alleged fights and i got footage y'all know me i'm always gonna bring several packages of tea yes now going straight into it you know i love to feed you guys an appetizer before we jump into our main course we eat good around here now what i want to start with first is who were the judges of baddies west we're going straight down the list we had tommy from love and hip-hop natalie we had suki from love and hip-hop and from baddie south we had brie Rolly, Jayla, Scotty, and Krishan. Now, these were the confirmed girls posted by Zeus and other blog sites. Now, some people speculated, why wasn't Slim, Persuasion, and Anne included in a roster? Well, a little birdie let me know that. They were all originally supposed to be a part of the casting process, but some of the girls either didn't show up or didn't think that it was a fair amount of pay so slim persuasion and Anne did not show up some would speculate that slim was over the fighting she felt like it was going to be another fight persuasion just wasn't interested and Anne, well we would have to ask bianca at this point why she didn't show up but enough about that we all know that going down at the baddies west audition everyone that was excited but you don't have to take my word for it check out all this fan footage of all these people excited to be there freaking bad y'all better go hard period I, I'm going to go hard, Sasha K. You already know. Period. Barbie, I love better go hard. Barbie. I Barbie. Yeah. I love y'all. No, you too. Okay. Like I said, hey. don't. All right. And um, yeah, South Central Baddies is up next. Daddy West. I love Natalie. I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all show up on my sis, Roly. All right, Period. I'm about to head off to here. But y'all go done. Love y'all. Stay tuned. Just follow just follow just go in here. Yes. Follow. Yes. Follow. Yes. Yes. Follow. Yes. Follow. Yes. Follow. Yes. Follow. Yes. Yes. Follow. Yes. Yes. Follow. Yes. Yes. Follow. Yes. 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 don't claim us because we not claiming yeah we bitch. not claiming nobody we not claiming <laughs> Yeah. Let him know. I'm not even trying to get my face. 
Now what I found interesting about this is that a lot of crossover girls came and I'm going to go straight down the list. We had girls from South Central Baddies. We had girls from Blue Face Club and we had girls from the Baddie Collection hosted by Big Lax. All these girls are scattering and running from their previous networks to get on Baddies West. So people can say what they want about Zeus, but it looks like the girls have no problem going over there to handle a battle. But not everyone is proud of this moment. We have two former BGC girls, and these girls are a little bit older than a lot of these other women, speaking out on what's really going on behind the scenes. We have a message from BGC Lucci and BGC Talon. Let's check this out. Females know something, okay? Y'all is too, too late to be sitting up here, selling y'all souls for these television shows. It's nothing wrong with recreating bad girls club. You know, that was everybody's dream back then. I don't really even fucking know how the bitch got paid, to be honest. I only seen Megan, but she knocked them bitches out by herself. That's every young girl's full fantasy. But, big me, if you going on there just to see the experience, cool. But if you're going on there just to get clout, that's not the good way to do it. Because I know the girls will get... <laughs> but they will love you one day and choke the shit out you the next. So be prepared for that type of lifestyle. I want to go on there because you love beating bitches up. <laughs> Stop letting these TV shows make y'all think that they pay and they gonna give y'all a platform. <laughs> they just looking for some bitches who really ain't they so. And I could be born by my hands now. The positives of being on the show do give you a whole audience. And it do give you opportunities to go out there and make something of yourself. Because then the bad thing that comes with that is you gotta be one of the bad girls club fan favorites. <laughs> if you are not. Cause they gonna chew your ass up. BGC girls don't play. Talking about the support us. It will make you wanna fight, laugh. If they love you, they gonna ride hard for you. Bitches that think you wanna hot horse, so they gonna hunt you. Let me let y'all females know something, okay? Y'all is too, too late to be sitting up here. So comment below. Let me know what y'all think. As far as Zoe, I think she's really excited. It looks like for her audition. I can't wait to see some more videos like uh, um, what people experience and stuff like that. And as far as Talon, I do agree with what she's saying 100%. But um, also what she said, like, you know, it gives you a platform. Yeah, but like she's saying, you know, you really, you know, giving yourself up for these people. If you're not about fighting, this is not the world for you. And like she said, you got to be the fan favorite. I was hoping that my good sis see me knew better. Then to take Natalie Ware and think she was going to have for a seat on the couch on a reunion like Why? Why sister? I need to call you sister you need to come on TV Lucy VC and, and, and we need some answers sister Because why you keep letting them play in your face like this like I'm not understanding I don't understand. Be like, why are you, what's happening, sister? I'm like, please come on, see what you be when you're in Chicago, sister, and let's get to the bottom of this. Like, I, cause I need answers. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Cause, sister, what? Like, they keep playing on her face like that. And it's like, I really don't like it because it's like, they know how bad Sydney wants to be a part of this. So they know that any time that they say she can come, she's going to run. Even even if they're going to just close the door on her face. I'm like, don't take advantage of her. Like, stop doing that, y'all. Like, I was hoping that my good sis Sydney knew better. Y'all know how she get when it comes to this bad girl's you know tv stuff like y'all know like that she really really wants to be a part of it real bad so the fact that natalie be taking advantage of that is not cool like stop doing that g you know how she get with this shit so just stop doing that y'all know how she get when it comes to this bad girls And speaking of Natalie, first of all, it, okay, we're going to get to you slipping on your jacket. But I, the fact that you, tr why do you always do that? hi yeah, Like, why do you always start the fight off like that? Like, why you be starting off with a flying, crouching, hitting, dragging kick? Like, what, did you used to take Taekwondo or something as a kid? Like... Did you used to do the little Tabo workout or something and you remember that? Ay-ya! From that, like... 
it's like Mortal Kombat, your favorite game or something. Like, cause why do you be thinking that that's how you're supposed to kick off the altar? Hi-ya! Flying through the sky like, and then you be losing every time you do that. So you would think you would come up with a new like technique. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little, yeah, 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 or something. A little, yeah, yeah, or something. A little, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Something other than the flying through the sky with your leg in the air like, you you gotta come up with a different starter move or something, so starter like for real. Like, I, and, and and speaking of Natalie, I mean, I tell you a whole bunch of you know what I'm saying, a whole bunch of little moves that you can use. You know what I'm saying to kick it off, so you can stop getting whooped like that on TV. You know what I'm saying? I know you say you don't care and all that, <laughs> but whatever, girl. Now let's get to her slipping on this jacket. First of all, girl, you're going to have that baddie self jacket on so bad. Like, she had it draped on her shoulders like a cape. And it didn't even save you. Like, <laughs> your cape failed you, sister. She had that thing on like a cape. She was like, hiya. And then Rolly was like, nah, 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 nah. so I was like, oh my gosh. Again, sister, again. <sighs> you took a whoopiana again sister she say it don't matter because she finna cash a half a million dollar check baby so she don't care about getting whooped <laughs> i don't know usually when i don't care about something i don't be making hella tiktoks and stuff talking about it but mm, all right she don't care mm, thank you i mean i tell you a whole bunch of this is sparta that's why you fell with your dumb ugly ass So now that we've checked out some of the girls from the past, let's see what some of these girls from today had to say. All right, Natalie, girl, eat that motherfucking chicken. Oh, as you should. Oh, oh, not in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> weird ass bitch girl because I'm gonna have to ET I'm gonna tell you later I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you later in the DM cuz so we can see that several of the girls were making posts about the auditions and several of them were excited until I came across this post we started to see that people were fighting in the line and outside of the auditions but I don't think any of us necessarily thought that the audition fights would carry over to the judges yes I don't know all confirmed fights so I'm just gonna let you guys know some of this is alleged but some of it is confirmed as, as well so we're gonna just go into round one round one was one person we know that definitely fought contestants was our homegirl Krishan Rock now to some of us we aren't surprised or appalled by this but then to some others you may be saddened by your girl like how you gonna fight the auditioning girls but she did and here's the footage
Now, we don't know a lot of backstory on the fight or why the fight occurred, but we did see it went down with the original Krishan and a few contestants at the audition site. But this is what's interesting. Roly had this to post on her story. She said, trying to fight because they said no. So it seems like some contestants were upset when a few of the judges would say, no, you're not making it to the next round. But Roly, our homegirl Brie, is spilling tea on you. And I have to say, I feel like she's telling the truth. Brie actually got into a scuffle, and this is confirmed at the Baddies West auditions. Check this out. No, you got me sound like a pussy. You ain't no pussy. Tell him what you did for that bitch. Tell him what you do for who? Beat a bitch up for Roly. And what Roly do? Oh, look at my ankle. Nothing. What Roly do? Nothing. But what she do gave to her, the bitch? Gave her a wristband. Right. And who you riding with? Me. And who? <laughs> and who? And you. Who did you ride with, bruh? Roly. Right. The bitch you rode with. I remember her. Being weird. My best friend. My best friend. The best friend. Who got my back? This Who bitch. birthday tomorrow? This no, it's bitch. on the third. It's on the third. On the third. No, you got me sound like a pussy. You ain't no. So after Brie um, fought on behalf of Roly, she said Roly did not have her back and she actually allowed the girl to go to the next round who fought Brie. Luckily, Brie had some homegirls to have her back as well. But I am disappointed in the original Roly. Was she told she couldn't fight there or why didn't she get up to help Brie? Only time will tell because some of this tea we have, we have to wait until it's aired on the Zeus Network to get the full tea and the full background. So it could be alleged that Roly was getting into an altercation as well, but that one isn't confirmed. So far, the confirmed battles are Brie and Krishan. Now, for some of you who came here to get some tea on Sydney, because she did report in an earlier video I put up maybe a day ago that she was going to show up to deal with Natalie. But it looks like our homegirl Sydney has taken the high road. She was in Ohio, so she was booked and busy, and she did not make it to the auditions. Hey, what's up, Cincinnati, Ohio? I will be at Reminisce tonight, partying with y'all. Make sure y'all come out and see me. Come have a drink with your girl. The baddies of all baddies. City star, the treasure to give us. See you tonight, Ohio. This is good news for me because I feel like maybe now that she's getting to her own bag, she doesn't have to be worried about the baddie West girls. But you all let me know what you think about this baddie West situation. Did you feel like it was going to go down? Do you feel like you have a favorite already? And what some people are asking is, are any of these judges confirmed to be on baddies West? Hmm, I don't know, because we all know with Bad Boys Houston, Blueface was at their auditions, but I doubt that Blueface is going to be on Bad Boys Houston. So just because the girls show up and show out at the auditions to be a judge or a host doesn't mean that they're actually going to be on the show. I'm actually surprised. The one person I thought would have got rocked at the auditions was our homegirl, Nat. But it looked like, once again, she dodged several bullets. So, 
you all let me know what you think. Are you surprised at this news or did you kind of see it coming? <laughs> leave me a like below and also leave me a comment. If you want to see more, stay locked to the channel and remember this. Do the best you can with what you got and I will see you on my next video. 